allow us to make a dream camera. For me, this dream camera would be a six by seven rangefinder. It would be compact, lightweight, perhaps be made by a reputable German camera company with some nice glass. And for the most part, it wouldn't cost $3,000 or whatever a Mia 7 costs. For many, this would be a fantasy, and I thought this was a fantasy as well. That is until I found the Linhof 220, which is a German six x seven rangefinder camera, fairly compact and lightweight. The problem is sometimes the best of finds come in the funkiest of packages. This without a doubt is one of the funkiest cameras I've ever seen or dealt with. Nonetheless, produces great images and that's the most important thing. So let's start with a history of this camera. Lindhoff, based out of Munich, they started making this camera in the mid 1960s. The models throughout the years varied just a little bit, both sometimes in color or the handle, but nonetheless, they only made a few thousand of these. So it's super, super rare. If I'm not mistaken, you'd be pretty dang lucky to even find one on eBay in the US or Germany. That's how rare they are. They never show up pretty much. But with that being said, I found one when I was living in Germany and you know, the price was reasonable about $400, which reasonable, as I said, for given the package. And you know, I'm really happy with the results I've gotten so far. It comes with a really, really nice 95 millimeter F3.5 Technicar lens. The color, the depth of field, the sharpness, all of it. It's quite satisfactory for a rangefinder. The form obviously is, is weird. <laughs> it's really weird. It's really friendly. If you want to take a portrait, I mean, look at this, super easy. You have a trigger at the bottom here. Boom, press the trigger, got your photo taken. You also have the aperture, the shutter speed, and the focus all right next to each other so you can kind of get it in one smooth motion, all three. If you're wanting to shoot landscape, that's a little different, of course you're gonna have to pretty much up the periscope here, press the trigger, boom, and you've taken your photo. To go to the next frame, you're gonna have to wind this handle here twice. One, two, and then got your photo. So it's called a 220 because it handles both 120 film and 220 film. So if you do have an expired stash of 220 like myself, and that's pretty nice. Loading the camera is pretty straightforward. You just pop open the back here, and then you got yourself on the inside an insert. What you do is you just spool the film up and over. You have an little arrow that indicates when the camera is ready. You then you have to wind it first. You put the film in, right, so that there we go, proper way. Shoot, and then you, you just wind it on, easy peasy. Now I've shot this camera at night a few times. It's not a good camera to shoot at night. I would say the rangefinder in general, like many other rangefinders, aren't that night photography friendly. Instead of shooting more night photos with this camera, I went on a hike instead. And you know, it was a, it was a nice experience. I wouldn't say my photos were amazing by any means, but it was a nice experience. And I'm happy to be able to demonstrate this camera to you guys, because there's really hardly any sort of demonstrations out there on the internet. So here we are at the headwaters of Butte Creek up in the bosom of the Sierra Nevada, pretty high up. And this is a beautiful meadow where this creek originates at. Some awesome fly fishing and some great opportunities for photographs. So here we are with the Linhoff 220 and I actually loaded up some gold 200. This is only one of my first times shooting it. Here it is. So I'm really excited to see the results. So let's get to it.
Should also know I brought the old Toyo 4x5, so we're gonna be shooting some large format. I got four sheets of some Tri-X 320, and I think in black and white, this meadow would look equally as good as in 120 Gold 200. got only a couple more shots left here. I think this scene is pretty magical and the sun literally just came out. So I'm gonna do one vertical, one horizontal, and hopefully it turns out well on this gold. So there you have it for my roll of gold in the Linhof 20. Not too happy with the results, but it's more so I think the setting and perhaps my framing of the images. Nonetheless, it was fun to use and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.